Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So, a little bit different for you today. I'm in Myrtle Beach, and this is where I've been camping for like five or six days, right off the beach, um, kind of near like the Marriott hotels. Great location, great location. The weather, as you can see, has been beautiful. It's actually quite warm right now. I could be naked. <laughs> but today, I'm actually flying back to Kansas. We are going back there because Taylor is graduating nursing school. So thumbs up uh, for Taylor. She got through like two years somehow. I don't know how. So I just thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing today. You know, I'm going to pack up and go to the airport, ride at the airport, pick up a bike box, um, pack my bike up. I just thought, you know, maybe you guys will be interested in seeing it. So yeah, let's get to it. So guys, welcome to my pad. This is the kitchen here. Right here is the garage. Got the old bike locked up to the tent there. Over here is my kitchen pantry and wardrobe. And my two bed, two person bed, tent, whatever. It's got a bit of gear, sort of hanging outside the tent there, you know. Hey, it was a good setup here, guys. I'd open this side, but I can't because the zip's not working. Let me quickly show you inside the tent here. Yeah, so. I usually put my water up here, got my little Cedar Summit air pillow, this is so good because it's like kind of fabric on the outside and it doesn't slide around. This is my eye mask, the Mindfold, so good, completely black at night. Got some pepper spray out there, multi-tool, black light or headlamp, got my little fanny pack there, fanny pack so good, got a bunch of clothes, my bag, dirty bike clothes. This is my Walmart sleeping bag. It's like a tomb style rated to, what is it rated to? 30 Fahrenheit. Over there's my restroom and the dishes. So yeah, great little tent. Unfortunately, the zips are pretty much finished now for this external fly, or uh, sorry, bug net. All right, we better start packing up. Yeah, by the way, that's the Marriott, like just over there. If we have time, we'll go hit the hot tub again. Yeah, so the side is packed up now, as you can see. Actually took a lot longer than I thought because I've been here for, you know, so long. But the bikes come together pretty tidily. Yeah, I was so grateful for this spot, you know. I mean, look at this. I was under this nice tree. It's like all quite, like, bushy, so it's pretty hidden. Very grateful, very grateful. But it's time to go. And here we have the beach, just down from where I'm staying. So I've just been coming down here to get water. I can just like, you know, get it from the shower here. It tastes pretty good. So obviously I'm here during the off season and it's quiet. Can you guys imagine how packed this would be in the busy season? Like, it's like a 60 mile strip of resorts. I'm not even kidding. So I'm set up here at Anderson Park now. It's one of the few public spaces available in Myrtle Beach. Everything's private here. Uh, it's a nice little spot though. Uh, cooking some lunch. Got some rice cooking with, gonna have it with pineapple and some salsa. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to throw some food away because uh, I don't think I'll be able to take it back with me because like weight restrictions. I have to double check. I'm pretty sure I can, my bike box can be 25 pounds. Five pounds? Is that right? No, it might be 50 pounds, 25 kilos. So yeah, I want to be like around there, I'll get charged more. I don't want to get charged. Yeah, see, look how developed this is, guys. Oops, someone started a motorbike or something. Of course. Pruning. Look at that. And then you get this like tiny little piece of space. Better than nothing. Can you see the Ferris wheel, guys? And this is where the theme parks are. There's actually a few more people down this way, kind of. Yeah, there it is there. There's the pier back that way. I'm gonna follow the boardwalk for a little bit. Back in that direction. Yeah, check out this boardwalk, guys. Honestly, if I didn't know any better, I'd think I was in California. That's definitely the vibes I'm getting right now. Well, yeah, no, for sure. All right, so we have a box. This beach bike shop. Super nice guys in there. Heaps of gear, heaps of stock. So if you need something, if you're in the area, definitely go in there. Now, 
got to roll the box up. Alrighty guys, I have the box here and I even got some stuff to pack it with inside. I'll show you. So, so now I have to like break it down, fold it up, then ride with it to the Walmart. All right, what do you guys think of that? Isn't that sick? I think it'll actually work really well. I like strapped it to the pannier cage on the rack, sorry. And then I also strapped it to the bags and then just like strapped that on the end, like loose. But you know, I think it'll do all right. And we made it guys. A couple miles to our friendly neighborhood Walmart. Actually, it's not a neighborhood, it's a super center Walmart. I don't know if you can see the box on the back. How's it looking? Thumbs up if you like my ingenuity. I've done it before. In the past, I've just like carried it under my arm. But I realized with the rack on there, no need, mate. No need. Anyway, I really want a luggage scale because like 10 bucks here, so I think it's worth it. Let's get through here. Oh, cool. And up on the curb. Yeah, so I'm at the airport now. Just trying to work out where I should build it. I was going to build it out here on the grass, but I realized it's a little bit far. The airport's like over there. So I might try and get as close as I can so I don't have to carry it over there. Alright guys, things are looking slightly sketchy at the airport here. Got the bike half packed away and I've just done the weight measurements to get it under 50 pounds. We're at 45 with this stuff here in the box but the two panniers carry on and I've carried them on before so it should be fine. So now I just gotta like strap all the bike together and we'll be pretty much good to go check in. It's about almost five. I think my flight leaves at like eight. So I got it taped up now, kinda. Got some foam on the bottom there, cardboard on the tubes, some, some of that foam on the hoods there, cable tied the crank arm to the chain stays, cable tied the wheel to the brakes or whatever, or the frame maybe. Took the derailleur off, cable tied it to the cassette. Let's see if I can fit it in. Okay, now just make my way inside. Oh, shit, I broke the handle. <laughs> Look. Fuck. Okay guys, made it through TSA. Got my box on. It weighed 48.5. And it's a super relaxed airport. The airport police were like chatting with me and they'd all be watching me like put my bike to they'll take my bike apart. Um, yeah, let me chuck it up on the weight scale before I zipped it up or taped it up. So yeah, that's all sorted, checked in. Um, there's a Subway here, so I'm probably gonna grab some Subway because I did not get time to cook any food. I do have some leftovers I'm gonna eat. Baked beans, some rice, and yeah, so I'll probably smash that. All right, so Subway closed, but I quickly went over there, talked to the lady working there. She gave me a free bread, stoked. So I now have a little bit extra food, I've also got this leftover rice and that, got some baked beans, baby. Took my little lime through TSA. So yeah, I got, I got that to enjoy. Um, yeah, there's a lady with a dog over there. She's got the, her dog in a little baggie. I love the US, man. Like, there's literally a pet relief area over there somewhere. You can take your dogs on the plane here. Freedom. to Charlotte's, Charlotte? Whatever it's called. I have to wear the stupid mask, pain in the ass. Um, got a connecting flight, 10.30. Gonna turn up to Kansas at 12 midnight. And probably gonna just camp out in the airport. Made it to Kansas, guys. As you can imagine. Your bags are currently off carousel C1, thousand passengers. We ask that you please make your way down to carousel C1 to claim your luggage. Alright guys, made it to Kansas. Found myself a little nook in the airport here. Already got my box, my bags, so I'm going to set up my little mat. My tent, uh, my, not my tent, but my, uh, what do you call it, sleeping bag. Try and get some rest and then Taylor will be here to pick me up in the morning. So wish me luck, I'm just eating some food and yeah, then I'll be getting to bed. Alright, set up and cozy in this little nook. What do you think of my setup guys? Sleeping bag, mat, you know, 
feeling pretty safe in here as well. Got my eye mask. I wish I brought some earplugs though, but that's all right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, something different. If you liked it, thumbs up and hit subscribe. See you in the next one.